long distance shooting is something that's typically not discussed in the instinctive archery community. Um, I don't know why. Uh, personally, I don't. I don't think there's a difference. Um, majority of what I see, the shots made, at least on YouTube, and the discussions around instinctive archery usually involve shots within 20 yards, 23, 25, uh, and then the discussion stop. There's, there's nothing beyond that range um, from what I've seen, not much. Uh, so I'm here to discuss it. Let's go get set up. For this exercise, you will need one long range instinctive shooting bow, uh, preferably something vintage, without sights, off the shelf, elevated rest, whatever, what have you. Nice long distance shooting machine right here, Browning Explorer. Uh, this one is 36 pounds, 62 inches AMO. Uh, at my draw weight, I will, it's pulling roughly 40, maybe a little longer. Uh, for the long distance shot, your form's critical. Uh, this is a much easier thing to pull off with a lighter, bow or something that you don't have to fight and you can execute your form perfectly over and over. Looking down at a soccer field or football pitch for those of you, the rest of the world, if we were to draw a line, a 15 degree line from the top of the first box from the goal, you, you'd make a goal. You step back to the top of the penalty box, you, you'd still make a goal step back again to the halfway line of the field you're going to miss but notice how much you miss by look at that distance going from the center down to where you miss double that distance from the half field line to the full field to opposite goal you make you, you make that same 15 degree shot you're going to now miss by double the distance that you missed from the halfway mark full field line shot would be double the distance of the miss will be double than the miss from the half field line and vice versa the half field line shot how much you would miss by if you were to step back full field you're going to miss by double that distance it's proportional it's not exponential so in theory it's not any different your miss is just going to be proportional to how much further back you are from the target. I don't see shooting 
longer distances past 20 yards any different than shooting 20 yards. Just lifting your bra up a little higher. Object, the target looks smaller, but if you're shooting at a small target and it's about your alignment, it's all gonna just sound like regurgitated, yada yada yada, same old spiel fundamentals. Yes, that's pretty much what it comes down to. There's no secret to shooting at a longer distance. The, the, all the longer distance does is exaggerate how much you're missing by. first set up, I look at my feet. I look at my feet and I look at the target and I look at my feet again I, and then I look at my hand right here. <laughs> and those, these three things need to be lined up before I do, before I do anything. And then when I'm lined up right there, I set my hook and you know, I can pull the tension on the string, load the arrow, arrows on there. And as I lift up, like right now I'm looking down like I'm looking down, make sure everything's set. Then I look up at the target. And as I start bringing it up, right here, I make that note. I make sure that line, it's like gonna be in that line. And I actually lift up past my target and I settle back down. Let's go examine these shots. This was a good example of, 
I missed, yeah, I missed pretty much all my shots, but I missed very close. They were, they were all very, very close misses. What, what's the difference? Shooting at a longer distance isn't any harder. When I, when I first transitioned from shooting inside to shooting outdoors, going from five yards to 20 yards, I stepped back to 30, 35 yards one day and just tried it. Yeah, a few up in the woods, went flying, got a few, you know, MIAs. But I hit the target pretty regularly, and it wasn't like eventually. No, like the first time I stepped back there, within my first round of arrows, I hit one, at least one. Really close. All my shots actually felt very good. Um, I did hit him that one time. I'm not sure where that arrow eventually hit, but the one next to his head was not the hit, I don't believe. So, let's just look at where all of my arrows hit. They all pretty much landed, all missed in the same spot. They're all like cluttered in that corner. So, I don't, I don't practice at longer distances regularly. It's not something I do. I may give the impression in my videos that like I'm out there shooting at 30, 35 yards, right? No, I'm shooting at 20 within 22, 90% of the time. So I'm warming up 10 yards. I barely ever shoot past 20 yards. I do it for videos, special occasions, just because I feel like it. Why? Because when I do miss, they go flying in the woods and I don't want to lose arrows. That's why. Like, <laughs> there's no need to practice from a longer distance. Just get your form down. Get that release down. Get your alignment B lined up. Imagine that line running from your foot up to your target. <laughs> 